Synthetic genes. The DNA we all have, you know, the little four-letter things, how it all is happening. Well, a couple of dec decades ago or more, they started creating genes in the laboratory. And what's the advantage of that? COVID-19 is a good example of that. Is it wasn't hard, well, it was hard, but it wasn't hard. It didn't take as long to get a vaccine for COVID-19 because they've been working on this stuff for a long time. Now, the Chinese were working on it. Basically, the Chinese have been working on it. Well, the first outbreak of COVID, well, of COVID back then was in 2003, was a bat, bat virus. So they've been working on it steadily, nothing. And they have the money, money, folks, money to um, do the research and the talent to do the research. And it's, of course, what you have is talent is you, you start somebody in high school and you work them into, that's, that's their whole career. People, people are sitting in China, they're in this frame, they work in this company, that's all they're gonna do the rest of their life. But synthetic gene are common today and they're applied to drugs and they're applied to vaccines. HIV treatment was synthetic genes.